New Orleans is home to many celebrity chefs, including Aaron Sanchez. As Andres Fuentes reports from the CBD, after years of cooking on TV and running restaurants across this country, he wants to focus more on helping other Latinos achieve their dreams in the kitchen. At my root, in my heart, I'm a chef. That's what I do every day. Celebrity chef Aaron Sanchez becomes inspired. Just a beautiful sort of starter. Every day by his Hispanic heritage. Perfect, okay. It's a beautiful coconut shrimp ceviche. Mm. Oh. I'll give you that breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And he's brought his Latin dishes to New Orleans since his restaurant, Johnny Sanchez, opened back in 2014. Everything from the walls to the bar to the atmosphere celebrates Sanchez's rich family history. His mother and grandmother both helped pave the way for him before his master chef fame. Man, what's going on? Talk to me about your dishes. I'll make they both published cookbooks, making him feel like a future in the kitchen was possible. My grandmother, my mom, are the gatekeepers of flavors and taste makers. So. I had this huge responsibility of carrying their legacy. That's why he feels the need to help the next generation of Latino chefs and founded the Aron Sanchez Impact Fund. And how do we plant seeds? Well, we plant seeds by taking care of our most valuable commodity, which is our youth. Since 2016, the fund's given Latino youth interested in culinary work the opportunity to stay in New York City, attend classes, and get industry experience. When I started doing that, I felt that there was a huge disparity in between Latinos getting leadership positions in kitchens. Uh -huh. And I didn't want education to be the crutch. I wanted to make sure that they were provided with a foundation that allowed them to be decision makers as they grew. And of the 11 scholarship recipients so far, three have come from the New Orleans area, including Camila Arias. She recently moved back from New York City and now serves customers at Johnny Sanchez. So fluffy. There's not yeah. a lot of 21 year olds that yeah. are sous chefs, especially at a, a restaurant that's owned by someone on, yeah. on TV. You know, Has that really settled in? It kind of hasn't. I really don't tell a lot of people I'm a sous chef. I come around around like 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning to open the kitchen. I'm usually the opener and I'll stay until like 5, 30, 6, and make sure the kitchen's running well. Adia says advancing so fast in her hometown would not have been possible without the help of Sanchez and his fun. And just like Sanchez made his family proud, Arias, whose family immigrated decades ago from El Salvador, gets to do the same. Like showing my grandma that like, I'm a sous chef at a restaurant when she started off being a prep cook, like really just like makes me feel like I like made it for her, you know? It like shows that like all the work that she did of like leaving her family and hustling out here was actually worth it. And now as Arias advances her culinary career, she looks out for others trying to achieve their dreams. You're sort of a role model yourself. Oh, Do you yeah. feel like that? Yeah, it's kind of crazy to like think that like, I'm 21 years old and like I kind of am a role model. I want to be the person like how Chef Aron was for me to help out students and help out people in this industry and helping them honor their own families and cultures. Ah, Thank love you. Yeah. Reporting in New Orleans, Andres Fuentes, Fox 8, Local First. Also, if you're interested in applying for the Aaron Sanchez Scholarship, the deadline to apply is this Saturday. You can find the link on our website, fox8live.com.